Hey guys, Anthony, 4 Before Diesel. Just a quick video. Well, it should be a quick one. You know, I was kind of joking around when I said that, but I don't see why this one won't be quick. Just talking about KO2 tyres, bit of uh, mixed information out there, and we're just trying, we've got a bit of a program running. We don't have shares in BFG. We actually don't like the price. We, we could say we hate the price. We think they're a ripoff. We're not encouraging you to buy them. But just to give you the real information on the tyres, we've got 10... Look, we've got 10 BFG tyres here, okay? Um, this one is in pretty... So we've got 570 series and 565 series. We're just going to run through a few things that may cause the tyres. This isn't blaming the vehicle, the wheel alignment and stuff like that, but just explaining... Because some people say in the wet they skate around, they've got no traction, they're dangerous. So we're just going to sort of explain a little bit why looking at some of the wear on some of these treads and just explain it's pretty straightforward right in front of you why they might or might not grip now firstly of course it's a compromised tread pattern this is an off-road grip you can see the tread pattern really grippy for dirt and you know rocks and hills and all that sort of stuff that it's going to wrap around and really get some grip but this one's in good condition so the flat surfaces you've got there are nice and flat and they're going to be able to get some grip on the black top as well because generally it's flat you know it's in pretty bloody average condition a lot of the time depending where you are but um it's generally flat but once you're if you use them off-road a lot you get little chunks like this missing you can see so that's less rubber there to grip if there see here there's nothing there so the rubber's not going to grip there's two factors when it comes to water is how much rubber have you actually got there and you can see here half the tire's got rubber and half the tire's got gaps between it right for these lugs to wrap around and get grip on things so of course if you've got a tire that's got a lot more rubber and finer thinner lines only enough there to get the water out you're going to get more traction from that wet or dry on the black top okay so it's always a compromise what tire you choose and you certainly need to tie uh, choose a tire that suits your needs now the other thing is people talk about aquaplaning now these tires don't aquaplane like don't get me wrong it's all a matter of how fast you go and how deep the water is on the road but i've driven hundreds of thousands of kilometers on ko's and ko2s i've driven millions of kilometers in vehicles and i can tell you these are not a tire that aquaplane easily now if you're getting down on tread that's a different story let's just move to the next one so this one it happens to be a 70 series the next five we're going to look at a 65 series the standard size now you can see the difference with this is now a couple of issues you can see from lots of off-road use lots of outback traveling the outback of australia lots of rough roads and probably not engaging the center diff lock enough the rear wheels are spinning faster than the front and that might sound funny but that's what's happening the rear wheels are turning faster than the front they are spinning they're slipping and it's creating more wear on the tires and that's where you'll see some tires here in better condition than others i'll give an example this one's mediocre for an off-road tire now you've got lots of edges missing which reduces the rubber like how much rubber is actually left here this tire's still got five mil of tread on it believe it or not i just measured a lot of these tires i think there's one that's got four mil that'd be this one the lowest one here that looks like it's got nothing four mil still a lot of these tires have got seven or eight mil anyway these this thing here you can see all the edges missing that's one part of it the other part is you can't necessarily see but that the wear it's feathered off as well so you've got if you've got a feathered tire you've only got one edge of the tire making good contact and the other half's kind of not touching if it's tapered off let's say two or three millimeters sometimes more I've got a better example further as we get up the road. So this one I mainly want to show you. See, there's just... So what would normally be a big footprint like this? So you've got a big footprint. What you've got here is... Um, there's not much left of it. I mean, compare the pair. There you go. Compare that to that. Do you know what I mean? So you've got the how old the rubber is, the quality, the condition of the rubber. That's one thing as well. But there's no rubber left there. So if you use them off-road and your tyres are starting to look like this, that'd be why. And look... That's what's going to happen with a lot of tyres, especially grippy tyres. Tyres that don't grip, tyres that don't wrap around rocks and try and get grip, then they just spin so they don't chip, so you're not going to get as much damage as what you might get on these. The KO2s, believe it or not, these are much better than the KOs for wet. Moving to the next one, looks very similar to the last one. It's got a little bit more rubber left, came off the same vehicle, but you can see on this edge here, it's sort of a bit feathered, it's lumpy, all these edges are rounded. So the only part making contact with the road is a high point right about there, that I can feel, that's going to have most of the contact, you know. I mean, you can't compare that to a, a nice new flat tyre. And this ain't new. This has done plenty of Ks. But 
that's in good condition, it's still gonna work. Average, average. Over here, we've got one that's actually worn not too badly, but it's getting very low. It's certainly still roadworthy. Um, these indicators here that are about two, one and a half, two mil. So like I said, there's about four mil there, but you can see, they're not gonna grip well in the wet at all. You know, if you drive to the road conditions, follow the safety signs, uh, those yellow signs in Australia, not just the speed limit, you'll be okay on tires like this because that's what those signs are for. They're for people that can't drive and for people that are driving in dangerous vehicles and dangerous tires, and that's what these are. These are dangerous tires. I'll totally agree with people that say, oh, they're rubbish and they're slipping around because these are the tires that are slipping around. It ain't tires in condition like that. We'll get to that in a minute. See, here again, bits and pieces missing, it's not flat, you got high at this side, low at that side, it's feathered where, right, you might similar this side, there it is, right, so this side you've got the high side here, there you've got a low side, so the, the tyre's only going to sit up on this part here, there's not a lot of rubber left there to make contact with the road, here we've got another one that was obviously mainly the spare, this is the 65 series still, so we're on to the fourth 65 series, right, so that one's pretty good, happy days, now, now, this one's a good example. This is the last of the 65 series out of the 10 dies I've got here, the fifth one. You can see it's got, I'll try and get a different angle on it, but it's got a massive feathered wear. I don't think you can actually see it in the picture, but this side's really high and this side's really low. So it's it's worn that way lower and that way, like a, it's like a hill going that way. And if you put a drop of water there, kind of go, you know, trying to, trying to explain, right? So what you've got left here, out of this whole width of the tyre, you know, you've narrowed yourself down to maybe what's left here. These outside blocks are like useless because this part of the tire is not even making contact. It's only this edge up here that's making contact because the whole thing's feathered all the way around from a bad wheel alignment, from hitting something and not correcting that wheel alignment quick enough. So you've got to monitor your tires, okay? Um, you need to look at your tires and see, particularly on the front, they do all your steering, your braking um, and cornering, you know, take it easy around the roundabouts. You're just gonna do this to your tires between wheel alignment and driving, your left hand front's always gonna cop at the worst. But look, this tire in pretty good condition. So I'll say, this has probably spent a lot of time on the front. This one spent a lot of time on the spare in the front. This one, uh, it might have even, it's done, it's a bit of a mix. That's how I'd kind of maybe like to see a tire. Um, this one, it's, it's got more tread, but it's a bit chopped up. So these are not too bad. I'd say the center diff lock's on and a bit of rotating. Let's get around the other side here and have a look at these other ones stepping around I'm, i've got them on a trailer at the moment now these are the 70 series the last four and i just want to quickly go over them and give you an example like this has done a lot of off-road you can see the dirt in it but see the chunks there's just chunks gone i mean these tires they definitely off the two vehicles they came off they definitely get used a lot off-road and this is what happens if you use your tires off-road a lot you know like you know this is actually pretty good and the good news is once they get a bit older and harder they're a bit harder to chip up. When they're new, they just, because they're so soft. But, you know, same examples of the, that tyre wear where, you know, you haven't got the rubber there making contact with the road. But I would say this looks more like what a back tyre without the diff lock, you know, sort of looks like. It's got plenty of tread there, but it's really badly ripped up prematurely. Where this one here came off the same vehicle, I'd say this is mainly more on the front. You know what I mean? When you see those tyres that are really badly ripped up and you see four tyres and there's two worse than the others, where I'd say this one actually looks worse than this one. Even though this one's got more tread, this one looks better. This one, these two are even. So I'd say even as far as to go, this is a rear with not enough rear, uh, centre diff lock on. And this is probably a rear with not a lot. See what I mean? And this one looks better overall, right? Because it was probably on the front along with this one. So there you go, you just learned how to work out when you've got four tires, you're looking at four tires here, which ones are on the front, which ones on the rear. And if the driver uses that center diff lock, as soon as you leave the blacktop, dirt roads, off-road, center diff lock on, it's handy to turn it off on tight turns on, on the low range tracks when you go around those hairpins, because you know, it unlocks things, you know, if possible, where possible. Anyway, there you go, guys, there's a bit of info. That'd be a reason why the BFGs are absolute rubbish in the wet, like any other tyres that wore like this as well. Again, how much tread, how much tread's actually left there to get any traction out of those blocks, right? You know, it's just, they're just not there. So this is reasonable. You can see a reasonable block there comparing to a, you know, what do we got here? We got, you know, there's, you know, it's like a, it's like a dirt road, isn't it? You're trying to find a track somewhere where, you know, trying to navigate an off-road track. Anyway, guys, 
Hopefully that's helped you with um, why the tires may or may not be getting traction. If you use them off-road, they're gonna end up looking like this. Put your center diff locks on, I hope that helps. BFGs are a rip-off. There's plenty of better tires that are cheaper that'll suit most people's needs. But if you like BFGs, then go use BFGs. We've still got them on our vehicles. But when they wear down, uh, we're gonna be looking at other tires. Thanks for watching, subscribe, turn the bell on. That's another KO2 video. See ya.